uh, my name is Danny, and I'm going to give a brief demonstration of Viva Scheme. So we'll start off really fast, and of course I'm going to have to write the factorial function. Factorial x if x zero multiply x uh, multiply x by factorial sub one of x and x. As I was entering the factorial, Viva Scheme was maintaining uh, the structure of the s expressions. And so I never really had to worry about balancing the parentheses, or nor did I have to worry about the white space. And once I have the code edited, I can navigate through it by using I, J, K, and L to move around in the code. In fact, most of the editing commands in Diva Scheme are uncorded. So, for example, if I wanted to flip these two expressions around, the X and the factorial, I can press T to transpose them. Here's an example of a macro that that's a part of the Viva Scheme itself. And the problem is that this macro generates a little bit too much code. We'd like to do the right thing, change this so that way this macro delegates off to a helper function. So let's start off by doing insert after, so that's semicolon, enter, open, define, open, wrap, and we can press tab to complete that symbol. I'm going to call this wrap for edit star. It's going to take syntax, oh, I'm sorry, it's going to take a bunch of thunks r for replace dot space thunks go up to the lambda expression and I'm going to cut and paste it into where the helper function is so I'm going to press x go back to the placeholder press v and let me just modify this so that way it actually works so I'm going to modify the e I'm going to press r to replace I'm going to change it into a for each lambda and for each of the thunks just call the thunks on all the thunks close Delete. Press D for delete. Let me just close to get rid of that placeholder. And once we have this helper function, we can go back and modify the uh, macro so that way it uses the helper function. So let me go up there and open uh, wrap for edit star. Uh, let me create the uh, thunk and the E for all the thunks. Dot dot dot. Close. There is one more thing I want to do. I want to modify this so that way rather than using syntax rules, we use syntax case. That will give me the opportunity to use syntax lock and uh, get more useful location information from this macro. So let's start that off. I'm going to turn this into a function. So first I'm going to cut by pressing X, open, escape, D. It's going to take it to the syntax object, SDX, close. I'm going to modify this by pressing uh, W. Syntax case, STX, close. And then finally, I'm going to introduce the syntax lock expression here. So insert before, which is H, open, syntax lock, STX, enter. And I'm going to bring that expression by press, bring that expression that follows, that's right here by pressing B, close. And we're done. So uh, I hope this gives you a taste of Diva Scheme and how convenient it is to navigate through a program like this. Um, I hope you get a chance to use this. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.